Darlinghurst Drive, near Bathurst Drive, TMAP 572, N, November, Alpha Bravo, 10, 491, N, X-ray, Alpha Bravo, Hi, good evening. I'm Lieutenant Simon Cheng. The last name is spelled C-H-E-N-G. I am with the Harris County Sheriff's Office Vehicular Crimes Division. Our accident investigators tonight are on the scene of two separate uh, auto versus pedestrian fatal crashes in North Harris County. The approximate block is the 200 block of West FM 1960. That's close to Interstate 45 North or the North Freeway. These uh, crashes happened shortly before 10 p.m. on today, uh, August 22nd. Uh, these crashes involve some pedestrians that our investigators have determined are all part of the local homeless uh, community. At uh, shortly before 10 p.m., uh, two adult males occupied the eastbound lanes of West FM 1960. Uh, they were not at a crosswalk. They, uh, one witness said that one of the males appeared to be standing in the roadway, so they failed to yield right away to vehicular traffic. Uh, one eastbound, Chrysler 300. He saw that there was an object in the road. He also saw that another vehicle swerved to avoid hitting that object. So this Chrysler 300 driver wasn't able to uh, swerve to avoid hitting the object. And uh, unfortunately he struck the object which turned out to be an adult male. Unfortunately there were two adult males that were struck. They were both in the eastbound lanes of West FM 1960 and they both were found with no signs of life on scene. Uh, the Chrysler 300 driver stayed on scene our investigators conducted a field sobriety test and found no clues of impairment, and he's cooperating with the investigation. So while that crash happened, shortly after, maybe about five minutes after that initial crash, there was some traffic backup from passing motorists that uh, wanted to see the crash scene or were uh, in the westbound lanes of travel. Uh, so unfortunately, the, the traffic in the westbound lanes backed up because of the uh, people that wanted to see the first crash scene, and there was a an adult male that occupied the outside westbound lanes of uh, 1960 close to Westfield Place and in the backup uh, there was a black Jeep Grand Cherokee or a Jeep Cherokee SUV. Uh, that driver wanted to drive around traffic, wanted to drive around the stop traffic and went into the outside lane and unfortunately struck that pedestrian that uh, occupied the outside lane. Unfortunately that Jeep, uh, Jeep SUV driver did not stay on scene. So we have preliminary information that it's a black, possibly 2017 Jeep Cherokee or Jeep type SUV. Uh, we haven't uh, found a uh, positive license plate on it. We will have investigators check the uh, local businesses for any kind of video uh, in reference to that scene. So he did fail to stop and render aid to that pedestrian. That pedestrian, also an adult male, a white male, uh, also was found with no signs of life on scene. And that uh, crash is very close to uh, the first crash and then our investigators are familiar with these uh, gentlemen from the area 
and identified them as a local members of the local homeless population that uh, deputies have dealt with before. So we'll uh, continue to do follow up on their trying to get their positive identification. And again, it's a, um, a series of two separate crashes involving uh, three adult males that unfortunately died on scene. And the second crash involves an FSRA. And uh, the first crash, since um, the driver was found to be not impaired, our reconstruction team will uh, conti continue to do some follow up investigation to see whether any um, other factors were involved, such as speed or anything else. Uh, but right now, the, both scenes are open for investigation with the vehicular crime division. So, with the first one with the two, they, they ended up being right next to each other, or the two were hidden like separate? They, they were very close to each other, yes, in the eastbound lanes of West FM 1960, yes. So one object was actually two males. Right, yes, correct. Any other questions? Okay, as, uh, as we learn any more, I'll try to give you an update.